touched on was uh, the Dendy mid Batrider, which kind of pushes General towards the off lane here. That way, and they lost that Observer Ward as well, with a good sentry from Seiko. He warded out down a bottom lane though, art style. Here's what I was talking about. He wants to go pick as much as he can, but the roll from Yol, art style, he's in a bit of trouble here. He's gonna drop to the iron shell, kicking him over, and first blood goes the way of your darks here. I mean soul siphon, the extra slow, the extra HP being sucked out. The reason here is to go for level two in Crypt Swarm instead. Is it just more damage output? Well, that and, like, the DP already didn't oh, have Dendi. such a good start. Is Dendi dead here? He gets sucked out. BZZ finds the kill on Suneiko. Slowed by that Orb of Venom. Our Zeke wants to get in with another stun, but they could tear the back across the general. Ability, the movement speed, and mana regen and sustain. Keep spamming out your fishes. Bro, I don't really want to. Oh, yo. Rolled in onto mid. Oh, just there. He's fine. BZZ tries to go for the Soul Siphon, but they've turned it. The Flame Break throws him back over the Fisher, and BZZ has to Spirit Siphon up Dendi, but he's got the heals! He's got a Firefly down as well, and the Death Prophet suck as you will! Dyer's the Oos Frog spell is not enough. That's Flame Break from will go through the Earth Spirit. Yosek managed to get that early mech. It's going to go huge for Fox. Art style. You, you, no more from me. Yeah, Silencer is so rough to play against it. Even he wasn't oh, even that stick. Close he's gonna die as well. Oh. No, he's not. Oh. Close one. Keep. General pick up the arcane boot. I think this is really nice because they have a wisp. I'm diving. General dead. Tron finds the kill. Oh, you were an ugly one. Often unexpected. No, you're kind of sitting there thinking, well, these heroes, they're kind of running around, not doing too much. But when they group up, it's just all, all the sums of all parts greater. Individual little heroes give you, yeah. He's, he's 100 gold away from... He's looking for the kill. He wants the flame break. They're not quite going to get the lasso range and BZZ. He's here. He's invisible with the spirit slice from the Dendi. It's not enough damage, though. With that script swarm on the Seneco, though, it is. The Wisp is dropping a the kick. They catch Dendi up to the side and they'll try and chase him down. Oh, we got the Firefly. There. The Firefly about to wear off, the Blink Dagger cancelled out though with the Iron Shell and Ghost, it gets another kill. That Iron Shell, uh, where are the Whoa. targets? Where, where is all the Tornado Rocks? There's no aggressive warding here from Na'Vi to see anything, and RZ perfectly positioned on the high ground, he'll tank the gank. Last one back, the Haunt is there, nice, and the Global sure. as well. I'll secure the kill on the Vengeful Spirit, as well as baiting out an Exorcism, which is honestly a pretty good start here for Na'Vi. Global was wasted, but... They also got the exorcism out, so it cancelled each other out. I'd even say you almost want to trade global for exorcism if oh. the exorcism is not going to be possible. Unless they can kill Dendi here. He's healed up by Seneko, and they've baited out another big ultimate. The wall is dropped by Ghost Radiant Stickers. Didn't you almost to fight on into this? Ghost Stick's dropping low. Goes away. Mech, and the mech, he'll be okay. Yol not going to have the same fate. He does drop to the three man group up around him, and Arzi chased out with Dendi's sticky napalms being stacked up, but. Deep behind the tier one for them there. Cool. An art style will be throwing out and they see Dendi here. They see he's on low HP and they know he's blinked across. Blink comes off cooldown. Dendi has to be patient, has to be careful, has to jump away into the oh. stun from Ben and death from BZZ. Gets the kill. Again, is the only target really being given here. Not level six just yet, so that swap is not available. They want it. They want to kill. There you have it, the taste of blood fresh on their lips, not BZZ. For the global. lasso back onto the Death Prophet, as good Spectral Haunt and the Global, and BZZ just being shredded through it! Ghost Stick, no time to backwall, no time to re-engage, and Tron just has to bail on this. The rest of his team is dead, and Na'Vi, they've grabbed themselves a couple of juicy kills onto Dichira, and a good way back into this game. Again, like, Slark is going to be able to pressure some of Na'Vi's Radiance heroes, but tower, if DP plays that kind of game again where he's gonna die every single tough fight without getting more than, you know... That appear from nowhere, they're like smoke in the wind. Is the Radiant structures are he's being wrapped on. Tron should catch him. General, no chance. He does not even get the Fisher out. Radiance Chance of the DP comes attack. through just in time. Radiance Rocks. The Batman build we've seen previously, all Blink last one. Yol's caught mid with the global, there's no swap. Out and this Earth Spirit is just screwed, Roger. Why Spectre, the damage out, but just too good. Seneco is dropping low, but the Wisp should be fine. So, he'll back up with that 
Tether, Tron gets a kill up on top though. Can I relocate back? The Io dies, but General oh. Blink Echo with a combo there, he's in chat totem! Well, Tron slipping away, the little devil trying to escape, there's no reveal, and Shadowblade will save him, keep alive, and back to fishy heaven, down the toilet he goes. Things come out from both blue players there. Down the wisp. Signaling the intent, oh, but then the careful. kick is caught. Oh, Yo, he gets the combo down. He's got that magnetizer as well, but the global silence and the spectral horn back, back, and Dendi's dead. The rest of Navi trying to counter initiate, but the wall's down. I don't think General wants to really blink on initiate blindly. And honestly, drops from like 145 to 115, something along those oh, lines. It's uh, oh man, it he's got the horn. He can try and jump. Scotty on slick. That's I think Dijira. Yeah, just straight up dead. Even with a defusal blade, like he's not. They were just here. Navi is so timid, so Dyer's paranoid. Tron is under attack. Oh, art style. Forward. Is he gonna find him? Art style is gonna be the goat. Doesn't want Seneco. Wants the little Sansa instead. The global is now down for 40 seconds. Good on the side, General. Blink Four Staff was waiting for a reinitiation there, but he's gonna have to TP back to Fountain and Dendi, who's kind of left to his own devices to defend up against this BZD. He has his ultimate up in 15 seconds. Be a lane of racks here with no glyph available. Narvi definitely hard pressed to defend up against this Tron though with no dark pack. He's actually grabbed up by the swap back and the Sarge is there. They don't have global silence and RZ. He stuns a vacuum, cancels out General so he cannot blink and echo into the depths and down goes Dendi. Later Rocks, that's a big kill. No lasso. Five seconds until Sarge is up, but BZ has his ultimate ready and Tron. The Slark up on the front lines, he can just go straight on into this tier 3 tower. General waiting for the Blink Echo, but there's no big target, there's no creep wave. And honestly for Na'Vi, there's close to no hope here. They need the big plays, they need that big wombo combo. Girard running forward, trying to find someone to pick off. He's going to see PCC here, but the Yule's into the air. Keeps him safe and happy for now as art style. The global is ready, but he's going to have a chance to use it. He's dead before he gets a say in it. Silence! For the silencer, as an echo chased down by this death prophet as well. A decent attempt at a fissure there from Ditch, uh, from General, but did you rather stab Spectre? The big flick oh. echo. General's caught four of them, but they turn, they fight. Dendi's alive. The rest of Twitter Rock they've been shredded as BZZ tries to soul slide out the echo, but he's taken out by did you run? General she gets a double kill on the back of that big old echo slam. A Tron, Tron, go back to Australia. He can dispel it for someone else, so he can dispel the global for himself with Guardian Greaves and dispel it for, you know, one of his teammates with Lotus Orb. Cool. Oh, nice duels. That's the general. It's pretty dead. Oh, wow, they popped the global for that. They're trying to turn but this. He's I gonna think. die anyway. But Tron. Oh. The dark pack there, general. You're right. He's straight up dead. BKB Dendi. Oh, TP what? away. The sw what? Uh, what? what? <laughs> Dendi cancelled his TP. Red the hell? Bench swap slot, right? I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna. These two people, Dendi and General, be out in the, you know, field. And Spectre can haunt in, and Wisp can relocate. Silencer in. Well, they're jumping on DZZ. There's the lasso and the actual hook forward. They're catching the DP off guard. And Tron, he goes in on the Dendi, but the heels are there, and the BKB's up. They'll turn onto Seneco as Tron finishes off one of the hacking wall. It does yeah. jump down to Digira, but he's keeping the bash. The bash from Tron. Cancels the TP as Dendi. Oh, poor oh Dendi. up on the high ground. At least he killed the vengeful spirit below him. He Doesn't lost. get the EXP. For this team fight, but Dichira wants to be up on the front lines. The big man front trying to get in onto Tron. For him, they see the Slark. So they can do anything but stop it. A good force oh, staff. Nice and that dark pack is gone, but the last one wants a BZZ. The ghost have been popped with a global sun. There, they didn't even get the damage dealt. But BKB for BZZ with a four man vacuum wall. It looks like Tornado Rocks have turned this initiation straight back on its head. And that magnetized turns down on the Den in Dichira. There's nothing left for RB to really do. They've got Blink Echo up and running. Shadow Blade forward, General. Waiting and biding his time, the Fisher, the Blink Echo, he's gonna throw it now, jump in, find Tron, but he's just waiting for the agents to pop, and the exorcism to come through, but then the Echo catches the Venge, and the Death Prophet is Dichirah, the Desolate Damage, the Dispersion bouncing back onto its partners, but it's Tron, still the Slark, alive once more, from the Reef, back again, to take out the win. Oh, Dandy. Sucky. 
BZZ, the overpowered spirit siphon, no big surprise there that Dendi would slow down too much to really handle and another lane of racks gonna go the way of Tornado Rocks as mid lane is pushed in by creeps. General tries his hardest to keep them at bay for as long as possible, but even his Earthshaker. I don't have exorcism, but I catch BZZ, General. Siphon's there with a the gem up on the Death Prophet. General is dead! General becomes a private as he's taken to the grave. Peeled up so much the last fight. He got jumped on. I mean, to be honest, I was lagging uh, because of the European servers. So that's call it. <laughs> I'm guessing quadruple soul siphon. Just sucking out everyone oh, to their last point. Here we go, Good General. They come in, but there's no echo oh, slam. Arzik right. is the one that's got back to back in wall again. Captain for and Ghost Links with their low sword up on himself. They can't focus him down with anything but Tron just pouncing, leaping, jumping from target to target. Digimon oh, dodges the up. kick. He dodges the first ball as well, but the rolling bowler from Yol will finally find a kill. Tron still in the enemy base though, kills off Dendi for the godlike streak and a double kill. Dyer's structures Going for are more fortified. To find her old haunt. The difficult, difficult jump in if she wants to try and fight with that style. They've found Tron, the damage is good uh, for the slot. He's finally dead. Dichirar gets the kill and a godlike streak to boot. Yo, TPing away, but the damage output, the glimmer cake. Safe. Take that last building. There's one building left and we've pretty much got this game secured no. because. Is this gonna be a relocate? Up to the Fisher, you look at comes in as well, and there's the Echo, BZZ, good pick. The Yule Sap drop, the Diffuser Blade purges it down. Now the, they get themselves a little bit of time here, 95 seconds, a minute and a half, not out of this game, even with two full lanes of racks gone. We kind of doubted their, uh... General. Oh, dear me. He walks straight into the fish. Straight into oh, his grave again, 67 seconds without your Earthshaker, without your Echo Slam, final racks. Or so. But yeah, we were looking at the wave clip at Na'Vi and thinking, hang on a second, there's not that much, not an amazing amount, they've caught someone mid. Yol, glimmer caping himself away, back to safety. They're going to be able to bring him down, this little earth spirit, he's going to pop his magnetize, he's going to turn and fight with a vacuum wall as well from Ghost Stick, they grab them both with a veil down. Artstyle's dead, but at least Dendi will escape with a good TP. On the back though, the Spectre was taken out by the Death Prophet. Tornado Rocks, they've got this massive window now where they can just run themselves half pace and they, it split up the focusing on Navi. Uh, slight, Radiant you know, miscommunication. Global was slightly off. His Dendi is trying his hardest to put top racks, the final Radiant build in the Bastion of Hope is gone. And Navi now up against Mega Creeps as the VAC back. Gonna combo up with anything quiet just yet. General, Blink Echo, catches a couple, Yol is dead, yep, Earth Spirit's gone. There's the revenge for the Ebola, but BZZ feels no pain, dives in under Fountain, trying to get a kill onto Dendi, and there's no lasso just right now. Suneko keeps himself alive with a full staff back and a good fisher again, but BZZ just soul siphoning everything away from Dendi, even under Fountain regeneration. Taking him low. Drone, not yet exposed, but at this point, Tornado Rocks. In such a good position just to run away with this game. BZZ, what's he got left in the tank actually? Shiva's guard, Opry core, try and heal up at the swap. RZ keeps him alive, Dindy wants to finish it off. He's not going to burn down, is he? Not quite. The sticky napalm. Yours? Keeps him alive. Oh, oh, I thought he was uh, yeah, being nuked by silence. That's just a ventral uh, spirit. Ventral <laughs> spirit dies again. Roche is up, of course. So, easy Roche. Again? Lane. Oh, we might see the fight kick off though. It's up on BZZ, Aegis on Tron, Ghost Stick still with the Hex, the Blink available, they might jump off the Dichira here to try and get the initiation. Dagger will slow down Ghost Stick, BKB oh, up nice on BKB Tron, bait. well timed, and now the Abyss Blade onto the Spectre, but he turns the fight. Tron is actually dropping low on the HP here, but they just walk on forward with a vacuum not thrown out by Radiant Ghost Stick, he only drops the wall, he did actually vacuum, so he missed out on every single target until finally magnetized. The Ebola Spirit joins the party, Dichira's hunting Ghost Stick, but it's just not enough damage to finish off anyone, finally BZZ, he's going to be forced upon the cheese, but Tron has Aegis, they're back up to full HP, Dichira cannot withstand the pain, Spies back, but GG is called, 
I'll be gonna lose that bro. Gets your rod, jump straight back on him. But the Spectre has nothing to handle with on victory. Only that one time where he suicide for the racks and go I can't quite remember, but uh what an upset. Uh